What's <laughs> Both of us, I need to take a deep <laughs> breath. <sighs> no, man, I'm, I'm done. tired. I've done so much stuff today. I'm so tired. No, I'm, I'm really, I'm tired. I the process slept of moving. so long. Did you? Yeah. To, uh, to late? Like, I woke up, and then, like, I woke up at, like, 6, and I was kind of uh, tossing and turning where like, I couldn't get comfortable to, like, go back to sleep. Uh-huh. So I got up, came out, made a yogurt, turned on the TV, and I sat on the couch, and I was laying here, and I was like, I wonder if I could actually, like, lay back down yeah. and, like, go to sleep. So I went and got back in bed. What time was that at? Um, Like, quarter to seven. Oh, okay. And then I got back in bed, and I didn't get out until... I didn't get out. <laughs> nine. Yeah. I know, but and then I sat on the couch. And then I sat on the couch. We text each other this morning. He said, "I'm just sitting here in my underwear." Uh And it's like 10 a.m. I'm like, "I'm still in bed." Yes. (laughs) You text me and said, "Hey, we're gonna work out at noon." You know, six feet apart. (laughs) And I was like, "Oh, good thing," because I'm in my underwear on the couch. And you're like, "I'm still in bed." (laughs) You said, "We're the same person." We are. We are. Um, Welcome back. Welcome back, guys, to Between the Reps with Brooke and Gina. Yeah. New development, I just found out. What? I was just getting some stuff for my house Uh at Ace, and a guy that worked there said that starting Saturday, you can't go into any stores without a mask. Oh. In Santa Cruz County. I don't even own one. I have an extra one. Perfect. Yeah. I had to get, um, my sister gave me a couple that she had hidden in the back. So, and I think Daniel has a ton of them. His mom brought him like a big load of masks. I don't know. Just a bunch of masks? Just a bunch of masks. I'm going to have to she get She was one worried of about him, so she, she made the trip. This was a while back. I'm going to have to get one of those. When you could still come to come to town. <laughs> and she brought him, she brought him like a mask, a bunch of masks, uh, toilet paper, and then a bunch of serving bowls. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I go, what are all those serving bowls for? Are you entertaining? For all, for, for yeah. all those ga- yeah, you're his guests at his time. tiny house. <laughs> uh, so uh, we have a special guest today. Yeah. You guys, we have a We're special guest. We're going to be Skyping soon. her in. Yeah. Um, Dana Lynn Bailey. Woo! Someone many been of you have forever. been wanting. And we're doing it via Skype. And also, like last week, right now we're trying to give you more entertaining because we have nothing and else information. to say we're so bored and yeah. aren't doing anything. All we have is Skype. So there might be, you know little weird connection issues. I really hope that's not going to happen with this one. She is in Montana, like yeah. up in the, in the sticks. Boonies. Oh yeah. In the boonies. So, um, but yeah, Dana Lynn Bailey, she is Miss Olympia for, uh, physique. She's an incredible businesswoman. She is super motivational, um, works so hard in the gym on all her businesses and just, She's a badass. She's a badass. And yeah. she's so funny. And I remember when I very, I remember. I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember when. <laughs> I remember when like I first, Maggie, geez, dude. She, Maggie. Get out of there. Do you want, you know what I bet it is? What? Oh man. I feel like such a piece of shit when this happens. Did you run out of dog food? So you gave her no, like no, turkey I just, or something? No, I just bought her dog food. Oh. But she could be out of water. Oh. <laughs> um. I'm coming, baby. But she'll like all of a sudden start digging in her bowl. <laughs> like she's, she gonna, digs. Like she's digging for water. Yeah. She's going to hit water soon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying about Dana is like, I started following her so long ago. And for a long period of time, when I was like on the come up in like CrossFit and in that world, mm-hmm. so many people would, you know, comment back and forth on our pages, tagging each of us, being like, you guys need to work out. You need to work out. <laughs> They're setting up a play date for you guys. Yes. And so we finally worked out and- the rest is history. And now she like she hasn't spent hardly any, not a ton of time with you, but like we're the three best friends that anyone can have. I know, she's have. so great. She's so gracious and she's just super down to earth. That's yeah, what I so like about her. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. And if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we did our best. <laughs> we did our best. Uh, All right, we're gonna, we're gonna call we're gonna her. We're gonna call her. We're calling her now. <laughs> oh, there you are. There you are. 
We see you. You're kind of frozen. Yeah. Oh, look how cute you are. <laughs> you little cutie. Oh, thank God. The connection oh, is, you Lord. know. Yeah, the connection's a little delayed. That's okay. Hi. 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 Is it me? Yeah, no, you're good. Is it? You're good. Oh, okay. You just like, if you move quick, you're super pixelated, but you look good. You look great. Not pixelated, pixelated. <laughs> I'm going for the more cartoon look. Oh, well, it's working for you. So, there you go. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you guys? Good. I miss you. I know. Oh. Do I have a microphone? You guys look super official. I know. Yeah, but you I always hold, have to put you a should pillow just, here because my arms get tired of holding it. You so should I just, just hold, lean on it. You should just hold something like it's a microphone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bottle of wine is what I was hoping well, I for. Something better. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I just <laughs> said. <laughs> 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 reporting live from Montana, where we don't even have the coronavirus. It's a myth here. <laughs> Do you really have, you have no cases there? Uh, no, we did. I mean, in like 300, like literally. Oh, okay. See, Montana, we already practice social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> we already live so far apart. Like on the news, they're like, all right, <laughs> like, um, my, just continue to do your regular thing. Are like 40 acres away. Your Your neighbors? Yeah, my nearest neighbors are like 40 acres from me. That's the best so. kind of neighbor. Yeah, that's a great kind of neighbor. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, well, you know, I introduced you already. Yeah, we already did an introduction. Oh, As damn. If you need are we already on? Introducing. We're recording, yeah, we're recording dude. dude. Oh, cool. Just yeah. hear me like, I don't know how to work this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, not much is happening here, really yeah. at all. Not I do at the all. same thing every day. Are I, you you're guys, looking at it. I, didn't, I haven't even washed my hair in a, few, a while. Yeah, I, I, I mean, think I'm like day four. I, I, I leave my house and I haven't washed my hair. Today I washed my hair because I had a shoot, but I go like five days without it. Nice. So I was super curly yesterday. <laughs> but you look good. Quarantine looking good. Brushed it. I feel like your hair does look good. Like it's looks so good when it's fresh and clean and it still looks so good when it's dirty. When it's dirty, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I think yours looks pretty good too. Oh, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Should we just sit here and calm down? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. I was just showing, uh, I was just showing Gina your new daily driver. Oh, it's take so you for cool. a ride next time you guys come. Yeah, tell our tell our listeners what, is, what kind of yeah, car you just got. It is. Truck you just got. Oh, I have a Hummer H1. It's a 96 V8 diesel turbo for all the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> ladies. It is so yeah. sick. I uh, saw. You had, uh, I've you had, been driving my Forerunner forever. And uh, we were kind of like looking for new cars. And I just didn't know what to get and then Rob kind of stumbled across it like whoever's doing their advertising it was phenomenal he saw it like on Facebook and then it got popped up on Instagram so we're like let's just go look at it so looked at it and we're like cool we'll buy it <laughs> it's so, so cool. cool looking I used to have a yeah, Hummer I, I was it. telling Brooke I used to have a Hummer when the kids were in high school my older kids I had an H2 it was yeah, like all H4 lifted Oh, yeah. The new one. Yeah. And the I was telling you, well, and because we're in such a, like, um, kind of a hippie town <laughs> that, oh, people probably glared at oh, you. Oh my gosh. We had rocks thrown at us. Uh, one time Ruby was in her car seat in the back. I was telling Brooke and she goes like this. She says, mommy, that person's doing this to me at a stop <laughs> sign, like giving, <laughs> flipping, flipping oh us my off. God. I was like, wow, you're flipping off my three-year-old. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Come on. I was kind of waiting. I, I was kind of waiting for that because I know there's like some people just hate Hummers because it's a humongous vehicle for no reason. Like obviously <laughs> mine is like the military edition, but they made it like civilian. Right. Um, so it's the civilian H1. Uh, and it's just a ginormous truck. I, I mean, I want to say for no reason, but I don't know for reason. I'm gonna fucking run someone over. <laughs> yeah, you're out. You're out in the mountains. You know. You give me, you give me the finger, and I'll run you over. Yeah, you can, you can go anywhere with that thing. Yeah, it's it's perfect for yeah, where you live. I, yeah, just like the coolness factor. Like, 
I just needed something cool. And like, we have like race cars and stuff. We have Porsches, but we can't really drive them all that much. Uh, so I don't know. I wanted something that I just felt cool in. Yeah. Well, I'm sure cool. you look cool in it. <laughs> it's so all cool. about looking cool, man. <laughs> it is yeah, so cool. I love it. There's like this little, I don't know what it is. There's like this, just this like little square. Cause the engines like, I don't yeah, know. It's a big age. lump in the middle. It. Mine was like that. Oh, okay. Your engine's in the middle too. Uh huh. Yeah. So there's this big. Okay. It's yeah. That's where the engine is, and so there's this big lump in the middle, and then the seats are like really far apart, like the back seats. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't know if the H two is the same because they are smaller. Uh, but like Kaya sits like in the front seat, and I like like reach my hand out, and, like I can't touch her. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> <so far away. laughs> you're but practicing like, social little, uh, social distancing in your car. Yeah. Is, but you, bought, like, you bought you bought the the H one. Because you, you needed, be six you apart. wanted to do more social distancing. <laughs> exactly. Anyone so can ride in that I, with you, six knew. feet apart. I'm just, I'm just following guidelines. So, like, we live in Montana, social distance. I bought a car. I can't even sit close to people. So, <laughs> doing social distancing. You're, you're just doing your part. Distancing to the max. <laughs> so, you were shooting photos for a launch for some clothes. Uh, actually, it wasn't. Um, Rob has his first solo album comes out April 30th. Oh, cool. So we were doing kind of like uh, just trying to do videos promoting mm-hmm. the music. So we did like a hype, like fitness one. Like obviously it's not all for fitness, but just used it and just haven't seen any cool videos recently because everyone's just doing home workouts and they're not in, like they don't inspire me at all. It doesn't make me want to go lift weights. Like seeing you is just like everyone's doing this pillow thing where they grab the pillow and they're yep. just like, oh, like I have a pillow and then I'm gonna put in my legs. And it's like, I haven't seen that. And I'm gonna hold it with my feet and I'm gonna do a so leg stupid. lift and then I'm gonna drop it to my hands. I'm gonna throw it in the air, catch it, put it back in my feet, and do a leg lift. Turkish yeah, twist, like, Russian so, twist with the pillow. And I'm like. I'm doing the whole like body weight stuff like for DLB daily for my site. But like, I refuse to like get people like, uh, like pressing their couches and shit. Like (laughs) it's just dumb. It's like, just use your body weight and do normal exercises. Like stop. I know Daniel's been, uh, don't don't do lateral pieces. (laughs) Whole team, like soup cans, like, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just over that. <laughs> yeah, Dan, Daniel's been trying to do workouts for like, for the gym, and he he did one, and he said he felt so stupid. He said, "I I just I grabbed like a Yeti, like a drink thing, and he was like trying to use that, and he's just like, I just felt stupid. I'm I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. I, I I feel so stupid doing it. So like the the most equipment that I'll use is like. Uh, chairs we'll do like chair dips or like an inverted row using a table and that's generally it everything else is body weight and the workouts like kick your ass forget what I was even talking about <laughs> oh you're not using stu- like, shit around the house to be like all right oh, guys the video, the video. Oh, the video so, yeah on the internet there's no cool videos being put out right now it's just all home stuff so we did like a bodybuilder like hype video and then We'll just overlay the music. So some inspirational. So it makes you want to like lift those pillows and shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my uh, pillows work out. I think you need to do another. My, I think my the one I loved is when you guys, when you did the video of you as a, the wrestler. You should do another one of those. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so good. I watched it like three that times. <laughs> I'm still watching and I laugh hysterically. I lost my voice for like three days after that. <laughs> no, I no, no. Talk. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> it was good. Uh, so bad it was good. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna wanna What's up, Maggie? Maggie's just <laughs> chilling. I know. She's like, Who is that? <laughs> um, Auntie Dina? That? How long have well, I guess have you had to cancel a bunch of stuff? Because of all this, like, oh uh, yeah. Well, our our seminar got canceled. That's probably the only thing I'm actually sad about. Um, like, I don't care about traveling. Like, there was a bunch of like expos and shows we were supposed to go to, so it's 
doesn't break my heart yeah. to stay home. But the only thing that I was sad about was our, we were doing a women's and strength seminar at our gym. And it's just like one of those feel good kind of seminars. It's just like a bunch of women. There's a lot of people that are super uncomfortable being in the gym. So getting them there and then actually having them talk. It's just like one of those days where you like go home and you're like, I actually did like a good thing today and it makes you feel good. So that's the only thing I was super bummed about. Me too. I was going to be there. We have our, our vow event. You went to the vow last year Mm -hmm. that I, I don't know if we canceled it or not, but that's supposed to be in June and our gym's still closed and it doesn't look like it's going to be open anytime soon. So I don't know if that, like that will be the next event that I'll be like pretty, pretty bummed about is the Val event. So Val is our veterans outreach workout. We've been doing it for, I think this year would have been like our sixth year and just another event that just you go home feeling really good that you did something good today. So yeah, it was a lot cool of fun. Day. I so, went out. Do you remember when I, when yeah, I went out there last I year? I do. So many people. Yeah. And you just meet like, it's nice. Like I haven't been in the military, but there's like so much respect and it's good that even though I'm not, I haven't been in the military, but we have the ability. Hi, Kaya. We have the ability. <laughs> Hello, Kaya. Oh, dude. <laughs> Here, let's see Kaya. Hi, Kaya. Hi, Kaya. Hey, can you not lay down? Uh, but it's cool to be able to have the ability to get a large group of people together because I, it's, it's very hard for people to do, and that's something that we're really good at. We're really good at putting on events, even if the event isn't for us. So we really love that event. Cool day. You think you'll yeah, postpone absolutely. or just wait till next year? Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll definitely have it. I don't know if we canceled it yet. I don't have no idea. Yeah. But uh, most likely it's probably going to be canceled because it's like the first weekend in June. Yeah, and I feel like large groups is still going to be a, I, you know. Oh, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be a while. Like, a while, I yeah. think. They're, so, they're super close to New York and like that, we get the whole tri-state. We have like New Jersey and Delaware and New York. We get so many people. We're so close to like all those big states that they're not going to be able to travel anyway. Yeah. yeah. Especially New York. But yeah, those two are probably the biggest bummers, but. Other than that, I kind of like don't mind this whole this whole like shutdown thing. Besides, like people having to like not go to the gym. That's mm-hmm. the one thing. How is liquor an essential? <laughs> like I get it. I'm glad that I can get liquor. But how are gyms not essential? Yeah. Like I I understand that you like spread germs and like people, but if there were like protocols. To where, like, you can only have a certain amount of people in the gym and, like, you had a cleaning crew going after each exercise. Like, almost like shit, but Mm -hmm. I don't know. Seems like an essential thing to me. Uh, Essential, everyone knows fitness is what keeps you healthy. It's what's going to make you always stronger. You're able to fight diseases better just by staying healthy and staying fit. So, yeah, Yeah. that's my piece. Well, and I'm worried about how many gyms are going to have to close. Well, we're str- like we're not like our gym doesn't make this crazy amount of money. Yeah. And yeah, we have it like there's many months where like we put money into it, our own personal money to keep it afloat like right. so that we can keep going. Right. It's like it's it's something that we love and we built it from the ground up and we have all the it's literally the best gym that I've ever been to and uh, obviously I'm a little biased, but like I've trained in every different country and so many gyms and like we have the best gym and these two months that like we haven't made any money, like it's like really putting us under and it's putting like all those like tiny little mom and pop gyms and mom and pop stores. Like this is going to put everyone out of business, yeah. Oh, yeah. which is so scary. It, it, is, so scary. Sad. it is sad. Yeah. Yeah. I would, somebody uh, came to our gym one time and they, they just wanted to know, they wanted to open a gym and they were asking, you know, what, what, uh, 
what's the best way to open the gym, blah, 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 blah. And I said, well, you got to do it because it's a labor of love. It's, it's definitely not a huge money maker. No, I mean, uh, I don't know a, a lot maker. of people that, that make tons of money off of it. So if people can, you know, it would be really nice if they continued to pay their memberships, but then you understand why they can't, you know, if they're out of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, well, yeah, that first month or it was like halfway through the month, and we, we were told to shut down. It wasn't like, oh, we're doing it. Like the government, our mayors and governors are like, they shut it down. It's not our fault. Like we had to, right. to obey. And so many hateful messages and like Rob's been keeping up on the like Facebook page and like people just pissed. And like, really? Our gym, what? I mean, 29 to $39 a month. And yelling at us, and uh, our my friend actually did a post. It's like think of it as like your your charity. Like mm -hmm. if you like something, like we've been trying to go out of our way to like order out. Like every other day, we'll pick like a different restaurant. That mm -hmm. okay? That today we're gonna go to this just so that they're getting money from us, right? And like I just wish people would understand. It's like your gym can go away. And like that, I understand like that $29, $39 is important to you, but I mean, it's also important to us if we have to, like, we need it to stay open. Right. Like we still have to pay rent. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, it's not yeah, like there may the, not uh, be a gym for them. It's like that membership is just going to your pocket and the gym is just free <laughs> right. to run it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of overhead. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, and I think this month every, I, something happened and uh, they got charged again this month by accident. It, it must have not been shut off. And, like, the, like, hatred emails, like, that's so fucked up. Like, we can't even, like, you're like, stealing I, from them or something. $30. Like, yeah. But, like, little do you know, like, if this goes on for too much longer, I don't, like, I don't know what to do. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. And that, and that's not just for our gym. Like that's every single gym in the country mm -hmm. is yeah. struggling right now. So ugh, if you can, anybody out there listening, like, I don't know. Think of <laughs> My your Venmo gym a little is. bit. If you, if you respect <laughs> yeah. your gym and you want it to be around for a very long time, I don't know, reach out, see what you can do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and if, if you, if they, I don't know. And I don't want to say like, eh, they should charge you, but it just sucks. It yeah. sucks because we can't, we can't charge them because they can't come. And then we obviously can't pay because we don't have money. <laughs> right. Right. Well, and like, I, I feel like a lot of, I would, I could see a lot of that type of response from people about some of the, the Globo gyms. Right. But gyms that are smaller oh, yeah. or gyms like, like your gym, I've been there and experienced it when there's actually a community there, like, like our gym or gyms like are built with like community and you spend so much yeah. time together. That's when it's like even more like mind boggling our, when people will react like that. Yeah. So just thanks. But yeah, it's not just our gym. It's literally every gym, every box every yoga studio every every other thing out there is just struggling yeah it just stinks yeah it's sad but yeah Except i was other it. than that my, my <laughs> other than that everything's great yeah we're doing great <laughs> <laughs> gina her birthday's coming up oh yeah oh my god my 50th Jesus. Oh, I know we were, we were supposed to be well, in Jamaica, we were to be in right, Jamaica now. right now. Oh my God. I, know. I was taking oh, Gina to Skype Jamaica party. for her birthday. Yeah. We'll do a Skype yeah. party. <laughs> I will also bring some wine. <laughs> I'll just all be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> my teeth just becoming more, There's more that, red and more red. What's it called? There's that app that I've heard, seen people using called zoom house party oh have I've you heard, heard of that, of that? No. i no, downloaded I it I zoom. i've down i downloaded it and i keep getting notifications when like new people have joined and i think a couple people have tried to call me once and i immediately ignore it 
know. <laughs> but well, I, I, but I guess like so you you're can, doing it with people you don't know. Well, you, I think you can. Do I it think with, I think creepy. you can do it with people you don't know. But you would you would join a party. So if your if your friends were getting on, and we were all on house party together, I guess the app has games you can play too. So you can like. <laughs> That just seems so funny Play to games. me because I hate going to parties where I don't know people <laughs> and having to make small talk and you're like making small talk with people over like on your computer. Did you, have you ever heard of, uh, have you ever heard of, um, chat roulette? No. Oh, Danny, you're, fr- you froze. you're a little frozen. Oh, there you go. Have you ever heard of chat roulette? Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. So you said you haven't heard no, of it, do you know? No, I have no idea what it is. Yeah, you froze too for a second. Yeah. Chat roulette, I remember that. I was like, big, like 10 years ago. It was like big. Yeah. So chat yeah, roulette. Me and Rob used to go on and just see who, it was always like really creepy guys. Yes. Like old men. And like every, like, every yeah. like, just every like fifth, <laughs> fourth or fifth person you see, they're like, just got their dick out. No. <laughs> or like doing oh, weird yeah. shit. Yes. Just, oh, yeah, literally. It was every third one. You'd be like. <laughs> Penis. Oh, ass. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> so chat roulette, Gina, is like, it's a video chat, uh-huh. but it's like everyone you don't know. And you can just, yeah. I, I haven't done it in, since, I mean, I, first time I, I've seen it was in college and I would, I never did it personally, but we, I'd go to a party at my friend's house and Chris would always have up on his big screen chat roulette and we'd all be in like for a it house party. <laughs> yeah. No, totally good house party thing. Like you just, it's just like people watching. You're just mm-hmm. like, instead of them being in front of you, like walking past, like when you're on, a, just sitting on a boardwalk or something, just people watch. Like, but unfortunately all these people are like creeps <laughs> yes. and like giant fat guys that are just like sitting all like slouch. Like occasionally a girl, like a really slutty girl would be on it. They're never attractive though. <laughs> Yeah, you should get on. I, wonder, do they have I don't think I want to. I think we're gonna have to check and see. To. We'll have to check and see no, if we can do chat roulette. roulette. I know. I, I'm so uncomfortable with stuff like that, though. So uncomfortable. <laughs> the thing about uh, it is, like, and you can just change it. You can like leave whoever's yeah. on and like I watch them, or you can like be like you press the roulette button again and it just is like oh, random. It's like another. F- it's oh, like okay. random. Oh, okay. New per- a new video pops up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm not. I would not do that. It's like a little slideshow. Yeah. And like you're like next, next, next. It's like Tinder where you just like what is it? Swipe left or right? I forget which yeah. one it is. But yeah, it's like Tinder. You were just like swiping through, and then when you like stopped on someone, you're like, oh yeah. You'd watch what they're doing. <laughs> oh yeah. Just, like, really- <laughs> yeah. I'm so pa- I'm I'm Very way too paranoid to do something like that. Good. We'll wait until we're all together I'm, I'm and, person, me and me and D will do it for yeah, you. I'm the person that on my computer, I have a piece of tape over the camera because I think people are hacking in and watching me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, hi. hi. <laughs> we're talking, remember, uh, we brought chat, chat roulette. roulette. <laughs> and we <laughs> just like swipe and it was all creepy guys and dicks. <laughs> it was like dicks every third person. That's all there was. I brought three cookies, two for you. Oh, I wish I could eat that through the screen. That looks so good. I got one for you. Oh, perfect. Go. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was good. I haven't had a cookie in a while. I know. I'm so jealous. You're in quarantine. Aren't you supposed to be just like baking cookies and stuff? Well, you're still actually working out, so yeah, <laughs> you probably deserve that cookie. Are you doing the pillow workout? <laughs> I was ashamed. Well, I, I was going to tell. Workout for me is me just laying on top of it. So. Never <laughs> left your trash can. Fill yeah. it with a bunch of stuff. I just lay on the pillows, and it's really just a workout for them. You know, yeah. <laughs> how much weight can they can hold? They pick up? <laughs> <laughs> lay them all out. Uh, no, I've been work- I've been working out. Um, equipment outside and just doing a lot of weed pulling me and gina have just been pulling a lot of weeds weeds. my back hurts all the time finger finger grip strength dude and then i remember after the first couple days that i really got into weed pulling my my dad was laughing because i was like oh my hands were just aching and my forearms my hands were aching I was yeah, like, well, like my grip strength is pretty shitty, so carpal I probably tunnel. should just, I should probably just keep doing some weed pulling. 
Uh, no, my favorite part of your outside videos is when Maggie like runs. Around dude, she's a maniac. <laughs> she's she's the craziest dog. Like, I just like watching her. Just like you should see her when you when you walk into Brooke's house. She jumps. She almost levitates. She almost like crawls the walls. It's like a horror film. It is, and she like jumps. It's like she's doing parkour. She like hits every single piece of furniture. And like and just flips and jumps she the gap. Flip really, but <laughs> I mean, she might. She could. She could. She's and then every so impressive. often she'll like have a really She's good impressive. route, really good route down. And then every once in a while, she'll come up a little short. So she'll like just she likes <laughs> to jump over the back of the couch. But a few times she has like just just ran her chest right into the back of the couch. <laughs> Yeah, she's crazy. She's sleeping now. Video of that. That's why you should be videoing. Yeah, seriously. I don't no. need to see your home workout. Dude, yeah. They're yeah. rare. <laughs> They're rare. Usually it's like I meet up with her and I let her know like who on social media has made me feel pretty shitty today, <laughs> which is usually because I'm seeing them being like doing way too much. You know, yeah, there's like some like friends of ours doing out three workouts a day hard. or some shit, and like, I'm like, stop! Like, oh, I did, I did Murph today. I'm like, you go fuck yourself. <laughs> I know. And then meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm like, you know what? Good for them. I'm gonna drink something. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just sitting and here eat more something. Depressed. More depressed. <laughs> and see what else is on Netflix. Yeah, oh, I. Uh, that's a question. Were you uh, were you super bummed when uh, your competition got canceled? Nope. No. <laughs> what were you excited? <laughs> What's funny is I heard that it had been canceled. And the first thing I said is Brooke's going to be so stoked. She'd be so happy. <laughs> so it was Just like the this. pressure is off, you know, it was like this. Like, I mean, yeah, she was in it to win it, but she, the pressure's off. Yeah. I mean, was I at that time prepared? I was doing what I, I was doing what I could, but like, was I ready? Like in, um, my level of fitness ready for that weekend? No, not really. Like I was fully prepared to be like, I'm going, and I knew it. Like I remember I called my mom because every competition I've done, my mom will come and she always brings me like ibuprofen 800s. And I called her and I was like, mom, you got to bring some of those because I have a feeling I'm going to be fucked up every day. Right. Like just because pure yeah. like volume, I had been adding volume into training, but I was coming back from injury and coming back from not training a ton. And so- it takes a long time to adapt, to be able to do that and handle yeah. it. And, um, but I was, I was at peace with the fact that I was going to go and, you know, do my best. And I wasn't going trying to like, I hope I win and go to the CrossFit games. Right. No, I just, I was wanted to, wanted to compete. So when they said it was postponed, I was like, whoa, whoa. she was so happy. Yes, I have <laughs> now. I, to me, I was like, I just have, now I have more time. more time. And that's yeah. what I wanted. I was like, if I could just have a little more time and I had more time, turns out, way more time and now I'm going to need even more time because you know what I'm not really not doing anything I'm not doing home workouts to train for competition no no way and it's like the intensity's not there the weights aren't there it's like no it's not the same no like by myself outside Maggie's like looking at me she's like yeah you're pretty shitty (laughs) (laughs) yeah mom good thing you didn't compete (laughs) Thank God this COVID-19 <laughs> happened. Let's go back inside and watch Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> but what's your favorite show right now? Netflix? Did you watch, did you finish? Do you, do you watch Ozark? I, oh, so good. I have, did you, did you finish this last season? Finished it. Oh. I wish I didn't because we even tried to only do like one at a time, mm-hmm. but I could easily just watch the whole thing it's, in a day. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's it was so good. The last scene, I can't yeah. even talk about it because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Yeah, don't ruin no it for spoilers. me. Spoilers. Yeah. But that last scene where it ends, I, I was like, "What on. the fuck?" Yeah, of course they would end like that. Yeah, of course. No, it, that, now that's what? a great show. We have show. to wait like a year to see the next one. <laughs> I know. Sucks. I hate that. Me too. I uh, currently, I've restarted watching Vikings. Have you watched Vikings? No. Oh man, I f- it's so good. It's I'm, so good. Uh, I re- I'm on uh, uh, season one of Office for like the seventeenth time. <laughs> I, well, that's <laughs> a good go to. It's a good go to. <laughs> I feel it, like I've watched everything. So Vikings. Yes. Yeah. I don't know about that. Okay. It's on uh, Amazon Prime. Yeah. 
It was uh, on the History Channel. It was on the I History think. Channel. I started Strangely watching it enough. when it was on the History Channel. And so I actually, you said there's what, six or seven seasons? I think there's seven seasons. I only probably watched four of them, oh. three or four. And then there weren't any more. Oh, right. So I like never went, I never came back to it. And I remember it, but I'm, I have that opportunity that I don't remember everything. So mm-hmm. I'm starting it from the beginning. It is so uh, good. It's so good. I, what I love about it is Viking women. Oh yeah. They're the coolest. I mean, they, oh yeah. They're, they Obviously. just kick ass. Yeah. It's so good. It I is. Vikings in general are just really cool. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, I wish I was, I wish I was a Viking. I think Brooks Rock descended like from Vikings. Vikings. He's got that going for him. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done 23 and Me? Rob is, you know, he definitely no. is Viking. Also, his hair is Viking. Mm-hmm. And his height yeah. and his size. Yeah. Yeah. For all I know, he could have been in that, could have been in that show. Did you play in Vikings, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> you listening? He's not listening. No, no. I'm just tuning them out. That's all right. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should watch. We have to be Viking, part Viking. Oh, well, it's super. It's super well, gory. Twenty three and me because he doesn't want to give his blood uh, to the government. I'm gonna be honest. I did twenty three. <laughs> it's and not me. blood. It's spit. It's spit. <laughs> or whatever you get. <laughs> Just probably a smart thing. Whoops. <laughs> Too late for me. <laughs> yeah, I've already done mine. <laughs> oh, oh, tell her about yours. What? You're you're 23 me. What did you think you were going to be? Oh, I really wanted to be something cool. And so th- I did all of it and I've been told that we were Native American, that we were Choctaw all this time. So I really thought I was going to be something cool or like something was going to pop out of the woodwork and I was literally it was like I'm 100% white. <laughs> like yeah. so lame. So lame. Yeah. And yeah, you I'm don't a, have any Native American in you at all, probably. Well, so, well, that's what this. Well, well I was, for some reason, Native American. They said that sometimes it doesn't come up, but my grandma. I mean, my my grandma's mom supposedly is Choctaw. But what's funny is that my grandma would yeah, always tell. Used to tell her she was. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because it wasn't. It, they were in the South, so you didn't want to be anything but white. So, um, what's funny is that. Her, her mom, my, my grandmother always said that her mother was Cherokee and my dad would always shake his head and he'd go, nope, Choctaw, because apparently Cherokee sounded like a more civilized Native American than Choctaw for some, I don't know why, why she got that I mean, Choctaw head. does sound like a, so, like a Choco Taco. So he said, yeah, he, he was yeah. like, he'd just look at, look at us like right behind her and just be like, Mm-mm, nope. No, it's not Cherokee. And then Joey, your so, son was. Joey thought he was Italian and he had zero Italian in him. From his, from his, well, mom, he, from well, Nico? his mom's side. Well, so the thing with 23 and Me and it gets everybody up in an uproar is that it'll go all the way back. So if, if you, Nico's par- uh, grandparents came here from Italy. Yeah. So they were Italian, but since, um, but they were probably Spanish before that and uh-huh. then migrated. So it, it traces back to the very beginning. So it's, it's funny because I, I have a friend who they're, they're very Greek. They're very proud of their Greek heritage. And they found out that they were not 100% Greek uh-huh. and you freaked out and know this is wrong and <laughs> all this stuff. I keep telling Daniel because he says, he's, you know, he's the Persian prince. Uh-huh. And I keep saying, I want you to do your 23 Me. Well, it'd be so funny if I found out that you were not. The, if you were not the, Persian. They're not Iranian. <laughs> so anyway but yes it's, yeah, it's never, interesting i haven't done that i know i'm german irish english same me yeah i was like five percent scandinavian and like one percent iberian which is spanish but what's crazy so my sister one of my sisters did it, it also and um we had all the exact percentages, but we had like different last names Uh because we wanted to see if it really was what, what they say it is. And so she did hers. I did mine. All of our percentages were the same, but her 1% and my 1% were different. Her, hers was Ashkenazi Jew and mine was Iberian. So, I mean, there's something to it, I think. Huh? Huh? She's like, I'm Jewish. (laughs) I was Jewish. I mean, 1%, you know, somewhere. Yeah. 1%. She probably just, you know. No, it's just, it's just, yeah. 
Yeah, I found out. I found out that I was Irish, German, English. That my uh, there was like a really high chance that I was descendant from uh, the Vikings, which makes sense because they pretty much just like you know took over. I mean, I'm watching it right now. It took over all those areas. Um, and then also there's like a, they give you a number of like what percent you are of Neanderthal. Neanderthal. And I was in the high percentile. <laughs> I, in my, in my group. So what they do is they group you up with all these other people that you have any kind of connection with. And I was, it was the most Neanderthal out of 250 people. That was like me. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I just think Why of myself with Neanderthal? this. What? Why so much? I don't, I don't know. know. I maybe I, I, don't know. The, I feel like, like I protruding have this protruding forehead. brow. <laughs> yeah, this protruding forehead. Brooke, I feel like you have like very large hands. Your hands? I do. She has pretty big. I hands. have. I have really. I have long fingers. I have big you hand have long- and fat, fi- like short fat fingers. But I have a, as big a hand as her. Well, that finger. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm just Weird. looking. I'm just looking at my fingernails. I know they're so, so bad. bad. Yeah, <laughs> so bad. Anyway, we're all we're all, all something. <laughs> we're all a little bit of everything. <laughs> so we we should have you tell our listeners uh, all about yourself. Yeah, start from the beginning. <laughs> start from the beginning. How'd you get into fitness? Well, oh, I am Dylan Bailey. Uh. <laughs> I've just been an athlete my entire life, so I grew up playing six sports generally most of my life until I got to like high school and you had to kind of narrow it down, so I played field hockey, basketball, and soccer. Uh, I went on, played soccer at Westchester University where I met Robert Brandon Bailey. He was playing football. Wow, you guys have been together and, uh, that long. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. Wow. You know, since we met 2001. So I played soccer all four years, and I didn't really get into lifting until after all. Yeah, I didn't really lift. I would say, like, I learned a little bit in, like, high school uh, through, like, strength class because the athletes were able to choose gym first, and instead of playing, like, the silly sports, like, I went to the weight room and didn't really do anything. But so Rob was working uh, – I want to say part-time, but it felt like full-time as a sous chef at a restaurant. So he'd go to class during the day, and then he had, like, a two-hour window from two to four between, like, prep shift and night shift where he'd go to the gym. And, like, I just never saw him because I would be at practice or school all day, and then he wouldn't get home till about, like, midnight, like, working at a restaurant, just long hours. So he's like, well, if you want to see me go to the gym so I went to the gym and I benched and just started like just fell in love with it because it was after soccer was over and like pretty much my entire life everything was like getting ready for a competition getting ready for like a meet or a game so like I was always staying in shape I could run for days I just didn't lift at all so I had like giant soccer legs and then like everything else was pretty skinny um, so I started lifting with him and he was training with like, uh, some like pretty <laughs> juice. <laughs> that was, like, yeah, they're definitely hitting the needle, <laughs> but, uh, like big bodybuilders. So like I just came in, I didn't train with them. Like I trained with him, but like all he did was like bodybuilder split. So I came into it and like, we just trained like bodybuilders, like, building muscles, building shoulders, building legs. Um, so, and I started to change, like I started noticing, cause I was training generally almost every day from the get go. And I'm still eating like spaghettios probably. Cause I was in college. I used to love spaghettios. spaghettios ramen and those oh, Lipton ramen noodle too. packs. Do you remember those? Yeah. <laughs> those are so good. <laughs> and uh, I just, I, just like saw things that like I started like developing shoulders. I was like, Ooh, those like look cool. Like this grow them more. And I started becoming like just fascinated that like I could actually like change my body. And, um, I haven't been completely like 
pretty much, I would say, from middle school all the way even through college. I think I dealt with it in college a little bit better, but, like, just hated the way my body looked. Like, I'm not – I wasn't overweight. I was in shape, but hated my legs, hated my chest. Like, I just hated my body. Just didn't feel comfortable. And then the gym, I actually started to enjoy my body because I, I was, like – I was doing that. So D. when I got like competition, I think the first show I did was like two cards in the gym, Dana, and they Dana. were getting ready for <laughs> the big comp. I had no idea what figure it meant. Am I picking up? Yeah. No. No. Hold you on, were, hold, you're, on. <laughs> hold on. You were, you were, you cutting, were out. cutting out. So we just need you to take us back to, you were talking about starting to love your body in the gym. Yeah. So just training and actually being able to like build muscles and like seeing my body like look different. I just really, really enjoyed that. And then I, I started missing like that competition side so there was two girls that were like getting ready for a show and I was like I look better than them I'll do the show too <laughs> <laughs> my like, girl <laughs> like just like that little snotty bitch <laughs> so I ended up and like signed up never been to a competition in my life um again still probably eating ramen noodles so the owner of the gym uh was an IFBB pro uh at the time, pretty big time. And so in exchange for, you like, what's that? Uh, uh, Rob, I think you did like logos or something. He Rob, in exchange for doing like design work, he helped me get ready for this show that I had no clue about. Um, so it just gave me a diet, didn't really do training. And like, if I look back at the diet now, because I feel like I was eating like, deli meat for some reason <laughs> I would never eat deli meat for a show now because it's just sodium but anyway he helped me get ready his uh girlfriend at the time like show me how to pose I bought the freaking velour because this is back when they were like I think you probably did you wear two-piece I, uh, I two bathing suits when you yeah the when I first did a show I wore the full piece and the two-piece yeah okay so you're there at the beginning so it was a full piece and a two-piece, which I never understood. Like, what's the point of the full piece? You're, like, hiding, I don't know, my best feature. <laughs> but, yeah, so I bought the velour suit. And I remember going to the show, and I'm, like, standing in line, like, regis registering and stuff. And I was just was crying. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what am I doing? Like, I have no idea what I'm even doing. <laughs> like, oh, my God. And I remember, like, Getting on stage, the only thing I knew were like quarter turns. It was like quarter front, quarter turn, quarter turn. So we were lining up to like go out, and the guy was like, "Okay, well you're gonna go out, hit your uh, your model pose." And I was like, "Wait, what's what?" Model pose? Like, you're like, no one, no one told me about a model pose. <laughs> I just thought I was turning. <laughs> like, what is that? So it's like this hand on hip. <laughs> so luckily there was a nice girl, and she was like, "You just do this, turn to the back, and do it again." And I was like, "Oh my god, thank God." <laughs> So I did the freaking show, got sixth place. I, I look at me in that picture. I look so bad, but I had like six pack ass. Everything else like sucked. And like <laughs> some shoulders and then abs. <laughs> and that was Just shredded core. <laughs> <laughs> and they marked me down because like that's when like figure was very small, like not a whole lot of muscle. So like I was just like just shredded core and like a little bit of a delt. <laughs> <laughs> and my legs were a mess. <laughs> but, <laughs> it was just horrible. So I did that. And like, even though I like cried and I didn't do that great. I, I enjoyed training. I had, I enjoyed training for something. So now there was like, okay, now I'm going to the gym because I have a show coming up. So it gave me that inspiration, like that motivation at the gym. Oh, no, I'm working towards something. And it's that whole competition that, like, I thrive on. Like, I will never have shredded core unless I <laughs> have a show or a competition that I'm getting ready for. 
So like that just spiraled the like, I would do like four shows in a year. So it was like, get done this show. And like, I just always, I never did like an off season. Yeah. I would just get ready for the next show. And then it was a lot of ups and downs and I didn't know what I was doing until later on. But until I would, until I got my pro card, I did everything myself. I did, I got a little help at the very beginning and then I just did pretty much all my own like research <laughs> and like just, I already had like a nutrition minor. So I went to school for kinesiology, really fitting health and phys ed. And then I minored in nutrition and then I just learned off the internet and just learned through other people. So got my pro card by myself and yeah. And then that's the, the history. At what point did you? I won the Olympia. Yeah, that is amazing. I'm not, at, I'm not very good at talking about myself. Same. I just kind of spires in, blah, 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 and then I was number one in the world. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I started here. My legs were so, a mess. I kept <laughs> trying. I researched myself, and, and then, then I won. I won. <laughs> so uh, how long? How long did it take you? It, 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 oh, many years. So many okay. years. It's funny because I, I see girls now that like they do like four shows, and they're I mean they're also dabbling in some stuff so i i've competed all natural for my entire life i don't care who doesn't believe me come test me whenever you want same but i that's why it's taken me so long like i've been training like six seven days a week for 16 years (laughs) and like this is what i look like and my training hasn't really changed it's always been super intense heavy as heavy as i possibly can and like super sets drop sets and a lot of circuit training, but like heavy circuit training. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I don't know what, <laughs> yeah, I just zoomed through the Olympia part, but yeah, 2000. So, oh, I, I guess I like kind of missed the whole, like, how did I even win? Uh, cause I didn't even win in figure. Yeah. Cause so when did you, when did you switch figure. over? Yeah. So the switch, so my, I was actually, so I did nationals. I made it to nationals in figure. That's pretty much the highest I went and for, and for every single show for dummies for figure. I know, but so. for those of us who don't know what figure is, what is, what is that? Uh, so I'll just go at like in order. So it goes bikini. Bikini is just like tits and ass. Okay. And that's what it used to be. But now they're like pretty lean. They're pretty lit. Okay. They, yeah, I don't know. So it's bikini. It's weird because they actually made another division that's called the wellness division, which makes no sense. And whoever made up the name is is stupid. Dumb. That's really uh, dumb. Wellness I didn't even know that. Is, so dumb. Uh, it's just, it's so dumb. It's like, so who dumb. Named the well, so are, are the rest of the divisions not well? Yeah. <laughs> like, sick? Are they sick? So the well, wellness division is basically a division for like Brazilians. It's a uh, big, big legs, big butt, and then everything else is kind of like bikini. And then it's like bikini from the top, and then like figure to physique from the bot, like physique from the bottom, like big legs, not like shredded, but like big, thick. Like if you saw like a Brazilian bikini model, that they're in the wellness division, <laughs> whatever that is. Okay. Um, then there's fitness. Fitness is the, the ones that I actually very much enjoy to watch. They're like cheerleaders slash gymnastics yeah, like, slash you're really in shape. Okay, I think I've seen that before. They do like flips and uh, like really cool like acrobatic kind of stuff. When I got into and it, then, that's what I wanted to do. I actually got introduced to it because I was at the university and I was, I was a dance major. And Miss Utah for fitness, she actually came and taught like a kickboxing class and just seeing her physique and I always looked so much different than everyone else and in dance too, like way different than everyone else. And I played sports growing up. So I, I was super interested, but they didn't have that. Um, they didn't have that division division right. when I, like when I got into it. So the only yeah. option was uh, physique yeah, or, it was like or not physique, um, bodybuilding figure bodybuilding. When you started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So fitness is like, they do like backflips and front, like just really like, high energy gymnast routine and then then they like will do a couple poses here and there but like there's a couple mandatories like a one-arm push-up and something else but then there's figure figure when I was doing it was like 
mu- like you had muscle, but it, it was just like a very natural, you had some delts, you had some quads, like you were just very toned. And then, uh, so I competed in figure very, for a very long time. Um, and I would do good on a low, on like a local level because local level, it's just like just random people showing up. That's never, that kind of don't even look like they even lift weights sometimes. At least this is like 15 years ago. Uh, so I made it to nationals and then every national show I was just dead last, dead last every single show just because I was too big. I had too much muscles and too many abs. So they would mark me down for having abs. This is crazy. <laughs> that, is, that is crazy. So you didn't want to have them. So I remember my last, uh, figure show was nationals 2010 or 11. And that was just going to be my, my last show. So I was like, I and print like I'm going into this aiming for last place. Like if there's 30 people, I want to be 30th. I want to be last call out because that in my head, I liked the way I looked. And every time I would get off stage, like judges would tell me like I'd get marked down for not having booze because it made me more masculine. I get marked down for abs because you're too shredded or like your delts are too big. I had too much muscle. I like outgrew figure because I liked lifting so much. So they were telling me like, stop lifting so much, do more cardio. You got to get smaller, like stop doing that. And luckily I enjoyed the way I looked. And I also had a very, very supportive husband that also was backing me. And like, cause I remember I would get off stage and be like, Oh, so what judges say? I'm like, um, well, they told me I have to get a boob job. And then That's horrible. So it was very, very hard for him not to just like go up and like punch this dude in his face. Yeah. Like you freaking like, what the heck? Like, yeah. What does that have to do with anything? All had yeah. Well, somehow that has to do with judging and I get it. It's a, it's a very opinionated sport. If it's, I, I mean, even in the pro, like uh, Tampa pro, when I was in physique, it was between me and another girl and they gave it to the other girl because the other girl had boobs. Yeah, but it's like, if, if a guy, I mean, are they going to, yeah. are they going to mark a guy down because his dick's too big or, or like not big enough? Not big enough? No. You know what I'm no, saying? Just, yeah. That, the boob, like, you can't girls, work, your, your, your boobs, dick looks too big, which means your legs are too small. Yeah, the, so, hard, the hard work <laughs> isn't going to, the, isn't going to show in your boobs. Boobs are fat. It's a, it's definitely, no, it's just adding it. to like the feminine, well, like making our, it feminine. Yeah. It's just, yeah. That's one of our poses is a side chest. And it, like, it's funny because I call it like the side boob smash for everyone else. So it's like you're just smashing. And like, I actually have a great side chest. <laughs> yeah. But I don't, don't have a suicide chest and let, like call it side boob smash. Like literally just smashing their boobs together. But I don't know. Seems that's, sexist. That's in the past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the past. Okay. So yeah, uh, that was going to be my last show. I ended up, got last call out. And I was like, cool, whatever. We were, like, doing YouTube videos and stuff at that time. So, like, I would get off stage and, like, the first place girl, like, no one knew who she was. And, like, people would be lining up and, like, what is this? And it was all just because of YouTube. A um, couple of months after that show, like, there was talk about this new division called Physique, which was between bodybuilding and figure, which that's what I was. It was, like, they are missing that huge – group of girls that are like shaped like Brooke and like my, right. like me that just carry a little bit more muscle. <clears throat> so I was like, once they like finally announced it, I was like, whatever that show is, like I'm going to go and do it. So it ended up, it was junior USA's 2011 in somewhere in Charleston, South Carolina, somewhere in South Carolina and went down there Again, so like I did my own diet, did my I do my own training, went down there. Uh, I think I got a little help from like Seth Ferrosi, who we were working together at the time. So he helped with like the last peak week, and then ended up and won the first ever. Oh, that's peak, awesome! Uh, pro card. Yeah, so it's a it's a nat- it was a national level show. So basically, you go you do a local level show to get you to nationals. And then you have to win nationals to get your pro card. Okay. So I won the very, very first 
ISBB Pro Card in physique. That is so cool. It probably just lit a fire under your ass, huh? Yeah. And then uh, I ended up and I was like, cool, whatever. Like, So then they had to wait to get more uh, pros. So, so we, I had to wait like a year. And then I did the first uh, IFBB physique competition. And I got fourth place because I was too big. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? I'm the same size. We're like, this is a new division. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny how how much it has changed because like the girl that is uh, Miss Olympia right now, she has fifty pounds on my stage weight, <laughs> like or maybe not fifty, but it's like she on stage she was one sixty, and I'm like I was like one twenty on stage, wow. like that's that's a lot of muscle. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. she's a little bit taller than me, but yeah. I wouldn't get marked down anymore. No, now they would mark me down for not having enough muscle. <laughs> Sorry, you are can't too big. Win. Can't win. <laughs> or you now are you're too, too small. small. Now you're too small. I am too small now. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so I ended up, I, I did the first, got fourth there. And, like, did, like, the whole pro circuit and, like, wasn't doing as well as I thought I did. I went to the New Year Pro. I that was like the one show I've always wanted to go to. They always had like the biggest, the best, like every Mr. Olympia has always done a New York pro. So I did that and like play, I was like last call outs again. I'm like, what is happening? Like I'm looking at girls and I'm like, I look great. I'm like shredded, look awesome. I'm losing the girls. I'm like, their butt jiggling. Like what is happening? So fine. Like I was still kind of doing everything myself and Finally, I was like, they announced that they were going to have the first Olympia. So I was like, fuck, like I need to do good. So ended up, I met uh, my coach, George Farah, and he was the only person. There's so many people that have wanted to work with me. Um, but I said, because everyone just wants to be like, oh, so what's your drug protocol? I'm like, I don't do drugs. They're like, no, no, no. Like, it's fine. You can tell me. I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't want to work with you if you don't believe in me. Right. Like, and George was the first person that, like, he was like, no, I can tell. Like, I can tell in your face. I can tell in your voice. I can tell because I've seen you train. And, like, that intensity in you training like that, like, you would be much bigger. <laughs> like, So he, he was the first person that was like, oh, no, I know you're natural and we'll get you there naturally. So... I started working with George. I came back. I did Tampa Pro, got second place. That's the one I – it was me between me and another girl, and they give it to the other girl because they told me flat out they had they marked me down on the side chest for being more masculine because I don't have boobs. So I lost that one because I don't have boobs. Oh, my God. And then uh, the following weekend was Dallas Europa, so I went – and went straight to Dallas Europa, won that, which finally got me the ticket to go to the Olympia. And then I won the very first Olympia. So, Dude, I just got goosebumps. That is like the coolest story. Like That's a great story. I'm so <laughs> glad that you didn't just skip in between. Yeah. I'm glad you actually explained it. <laughs> uh, I, see, I always like, oh, I won this and blah, blah, blah. And I won. And yeah. I, I'm not really good at talking about myself because it just feels weird. Yeah. Rob really usually Rob's here and he'll, he'll like hop in and like talk about me for me because I just I'm not good at <laughs> that's it. Like, that's like that's like Gina for like, me. I just want to be like <laughs> someone just talk for me, but yeah, what she it's, means is it's a, it's a long journey. Yeah, long journey. Well worth it. Uh, a lot of last place. Uh, it's funny because you don't expect like my whole career was like last place until finally like the very end. <laughs> So That's a great story. I just needed them to switch to physique and then uh, and then having a coach definitely takes so much pressure off of like yeah. so I, I don't have anyone that like does my training. He just did strictly diet. So totally did you, did you was that it for you? Were you kinda like I'm done competing after that? Like left on that? Or? No, so I, did, I won the first one, so I won the two thousand thirteen yeah, thirteen Olympia. So after you win it, you're pretty much qualified for life. Um, so there's no point of, like, I'm not going to go do another show in between there. So I 
took the year off and uh, just went back and did the same thing. I looked better the second year, and I got second. Well, the and second's then, still uh, good. Yeah, and then from that point on, I got second again. <laughs> <laughs> I looked so much better the second year. This isn't like I, Ricky Bobby. I like, would, unless you're first, <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> I mean, second's still really good. Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, it's so you're a, consistently the, the at the top. Changes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I did. Yeah, I did 2014 Olympia second place, and then uh, they had their first Arnold. So I wanted to do that, and I got second place there. Same same girl won it. Um, they generally have like their people they like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they'll, they'll stick to them. But right. Yeah, it's a it's it's just crazy because the sport changes so fast because the the first year the girls that were in it the first year none of them by the second year were in it again because like it just got bigger already and like the girl that won it was a little bit bigger a little bit more much more muscle and it just it just grew and then she actually stopped competing because she didn't want to get any bigger so she Uh, wanted like two or juliana malacarne she actually came out and had like a message that she they, she didn't appreciate the way that the physique was going and she actually dropped out so, oh, okay. which is weird yeah very respectful but mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah i wouldn't want it like i don't i don't want to put any more muscle on <laughs> like it's hard enough finding clothes <laughs> like, <laughs> and i'm not that Brooke big knows. yeah yeah it is hard <laughs> what's crazy too is like to think about yeah. you know if it continues to like get bigger get bigger like I immediately thought like some of those like Olympia female bodybuilders like how could they get bigger (laughs) yeah it's just hard because like obviously even the people that win so even when I won I wanted to look better the next year and I did I was a leaner uh, I don't think I was, I wasn't bigger, but I was leaner and harder. I wanted to get better. So even that, like the athletes, they, they see what they were this year. Like they want to be better. They don't mm-hmm. want to just stay the same. <laughs> so right. that's just the sport of bodybuilding. It just evolves and it just evolved over me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I ended up after, <laughs> uh, I took, I just needed some time off. It wasn't really even like a decision. So I did the Arnold 2015 and that's like, uh, like if looking back at it, I, that was like 10 or 11 years of straight competing. And like a lot of those years, especially at the beginning, I was doing like four shows a year. So it was just constant diet. Da, 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 da. So it changes you. I always tell people that want to get into bodybuilding and get into like competing on stage. If you don't have a eating disorder, you will probably afterwards. Oh, yeah. But you will be somewhat messed up. Like it makes you think about training differently. It makes you think about eating differently. So even after a show, like Rob, like we would go out to eat and I'd get what I wanted. Um, and it, most of the time the meal wasn't that bad, but like I would get dessert because like obviously like we're out to eat, let's get dessert. And then immediately I would go home and I would like feel bad. Oh yeah. And I'd, like mm-hmm. get Guilt. on the stair mill. Yeah. Like, like a psychopath, like super psychopath. What <laughs> you're hopping in? <laughs> I was crazy. Yeah. yeah. We go on date night. Right. <laughs> and this is like buried in the off season. We go on date night and she has like three bites of dessert. I no, I probably eat the whole thing. And we go home and I'm like, Oh, we're going to, we're, you know, we're going upstairs. Yeah. I got a candle. Yeah, busy. Like, and I'm waiting. I don't know. <laughs> and then I, I'm like, what is, what's that noise? It's 1030 at night and she's on the fucking stair mill. Yeah. Oh, and I'm wow. like, right, that's when I knew it was something like, that's, that's when I was like, hey, Dana, maybe we should pull you back a little bit. Yeah. Like you're losing track of who you are a little bit with this whole like. Well, it was like. It was annoying. Yeah. Well, during that, like even like competing, like every weekend we were somewhere at a, like an expo or an mm-hmm. event, like I, I was one of those people. Like once I got the pro card, it's like, oh, I'm a prof- like I'm a professional. Like I need to look professional at all times. I'm not going to be like fucking Sandy over there that just gained fifty pounds after. Like no, like people want to see me. They don't want to see like Dana in off season who doesn't <laughs> look good. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> just 
a bloated <laughs> balloon. <laughs> like, because I can eat what I want because it's off season. No, no, this is my off season. I chose to come here and see all of you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, like, I was just on a constant diet, nonstop. And then, obviously, when it was, like, showtime, then it was, like, training, cardio, diet, like, without a blip. I, like, and it's, I look at pictures, I'm like, how the fuck did I do that? Like, I, and, and I remember even thinking that every single show, like, I did the first Olympia, and I was like, how did I do that? And, like, I never think I can do it again. And so, I'm like, as soon as you give me a date, like, I can do it, but... I don't know about now, <laughs> like five years, like it feels so long ago. Like yeah. I just, I feel like I have one more left in me and I was going to think about doing this one. Like we talked about it like over the summer, but now I don't even know what they're doing with Olympia this year. So I'm right. not going to, I'll train for it with you. Out of it. What's that? I said, I'll train for it with you. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. I won't even do it. But I'll just be your shadow the whole time. So when you get spray tan, I'll get a spray tan. When you're walking around, I'm walking around. I thought, you know what? I was talking to somebody. I thought that a really funny dare would be to dare someone that they have to go and do one of those shows, just like a local one, but not train for it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You're not. You have to eat for it. Only eat. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just like it looks super that would be shitty. So embarrassing. Yeah. It would be horrible. I know. Yeah, no, I was going to do it, but I had some, like, weird, like, health things that I had to get over this past couple months, and now I'm back finally, like, feeling 100%, and it's already, like, I, I would start, like, I'd be starting my prep already right now. Mm. Oof. Ay, yeah. Instead, I start, you like, can have that cookie. What's that? I said, instead, you can have that cookie. Yeah. I have cookies and wine right next to me. <laughs> that's that's a good that's a good yeah. time. Yeah. So, yeah, I took a break mm. and then somehow just never came back. Well, I just, you're so, you never left, man. Yeah, you never left. You, you, you never still left. look I'm, incredible. I'm not gonna Come lie on. to you. I yeah. just zoomed in on a picture of you on Instagram just to look at your abs, <laughs> like this morning. <laughs> Damn. No, it well, wasn't see, even a picture. You know what it was? It was on your it was on your story because you because you did Tabata on your Peloton bike. Oh, and you're just sweat. You were just glistening, and it was up. like panned over yeah. your core, and you were all sweaty and glistening. And I was like, God damn, my best friend is so hot. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, I feel like I'm actually in better shape now than I've ever been like just on a consistent basis because even though I was like constantly dieting like it, it's just that like up and down mm -hmm. like I would I, I would just still be eating all the same food that I would do for competition it was just bigger and like I just remember just being bigger and my face is rounder now I've also cut a lot of like animal products out of my food I'm not vegan but I think that had a lot of it to do with it the stress of not like getting ready for a show, um, that has a lot to do with it. I stop eating seven times a day. I only I eat twice a day. I do intermittent fasting now, and it's just so much easier. And I just feel like my body likes it more. I feel like everyone's body probably likes it more. We're not meant to eat seven like a bodybuilder. Like we're not meant to eat seven times a day. Like that's crazy. That is crazy. But like that's what I was doing, Ugh. and it was just so much food. And I think I was just overeating and I was just constantly doing cardio and just it was now I like I do my Peloton bike and I enjoy it um but like I don't do cardio like I did every single morning I was like on the stair mill every single morning for 30 minutes now it's like eh, when I feel like it I get a really good workout on my Peloton bike <laughs> <laughs> but like I, I still train super hard but I don't know something yeah. to it I mean Yes, you do train super hard. So, you do oh, train we see hard. it. We see yeah. it. <laughs> I'll leave everybody in wonder. Uh, I have one more show, I think, left in me. It's, but I'm going to do it something different. Like, I'm not going to win it. There's no fucking way. I'm Like, I'm 40 pounds lighter than everybody on stage. 
but I'm going to go in doing it. Like I, we always talked about doing like a, like a random drug test. Uh, well, well, I'll get drug tests every week for fucking 20 weeks leading up to the Olympia. And then he was going to put like, just put it out there. Like anyone that wants to like test me randomly whenever you want, like put money down, like put $10,000 down. If I fail, you get $10,000 from me. If I don't fail, I get $10,000 yeah. 10, from you. Like put it out there. Bet me bitches. <laughs> that'd be so, <laughs> that'd be so awesome. Yeah. yeah. And I'll just but be your, just, me and Gina will be your yeah. hype, your hype yeah. ladies. We'll hype you up. <laughs> yeah. Just behind me, like wearing like matching outfits. <laughs> just track suits. <laughs> I just think of like me just being like, like, being like little John or like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like the Carrying Migos like or something. <laughs> your, for no reason. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> we have a boom box. Just hyping her up. Like that, that's awesome. Uh, that's always been in the back of my head. It's more or less just to like prove a point. Mm-hmm. And like, you'll still get people like, I still get people that are just like, eh. like, cause I actually posted, uh, when we lived in PA, we were trying to, we were doing, getting our blood taken like every like six months. And like, I got like my full panel. It told me estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. And I thought I'd be like, I guess an average woman, what do they say is between like, 29 and like 40 maybe maybe less I don't remember and I thought like I'd be on the higher range because like I build muscle pretty pretty fast and pretty easily and I was on like I was like 25 I was on the like on the low end well it just shows that you have to work even harder I had I don't know I just assumed yeah yeah I mean I I assumed the same thing and I had working with a hormone doctor and they'll do like, we've done blood once and then we've done, we'll do pee. Like it's a 24 hour pee sample. I actually have a testing kit that I've been meaning to do, but I always forget to collect my morning pee. I always like go to the bathroom, like straight out of bed, (laughs) but it's so they can kind of see basically like uh, how you use your hormones throughout the day and see like what you are peeing out. And for the first, cause I've, I've done a couple of them now, but in the beginning he was actually really concerned that I actually wasn't producing enough testosterone. And oh. then after a couple times of, he basically said, he's like, I think that you're just really efficient at using it. So it like, it was looking like your levels were low, but they're not. So uh-huh. now that I've like worked with him uh-huh. longer, he's been able to like come to that, uh, I guess answer, but in the beginning he was like concerned that I actually wasn't producing like as much as I should be, which is kind of yeah. weird. Cause like, same thing. Like I think of, because of like my physique yeah, and my I body, I'd be like, Oh, I'm definitely on the high side. Start. Right. Yeah. I never thought of that. So we just use our testosterone. Well, I guess. I don't. Yeah, so that's, that's what I, would do. I can't build muscle to save all, my life. <laughs> I'm all about proving points and, it's mostly just to like show other girls like, Hey, like all pretty much everyone that has ever come up to me and like actually asked, like most of the time these girls will come and they'll get ready for a show and they get a coach. Cause that's like the first thing they do is they get a coach and then they're like, well, I want to get be physique. I want to look like Daniel and Bailey. Well, oh, you want to look like Daniel and Bailey. Well, you need this. You need to take this and this and this and this and this. And like people have actually usually don't ask, ask, me for some reason they'll ask Rob I don't know why and he's like no like fire that fucking coach like you don't need like don't fuck yourself up like don't do that so it's mostly just to prove a point like you can build muscle it just takes a long longer amount of time like it's not going to happen overnight it's not going to happen in a year you're not going to go from bikini to fucking physique in a year it's not happening uh, so if you do it the fucking right way and you're consistent and persistent, you can get there. Just You just have to fucking work hard and actually want to do it. It's the people that just want to see results really fast. It yeah. like, just annoys me. Yeah. Like, don't you don't, do you're undermining, like, oh, just assuming that I do drugs. You're undermining the 16 years I put into this. And then the <laughs> 16 years of me being a fucking athlete since I was five. I was on the swim team at five years old, waking up, going to, uh, 
practice every day as a five-year-old. Like, don't fucking undermine me. Yeah, yeah. They do that you to Brooke all the time. Yeah, they, they do. Why are you trying to take away from all the work she does? Yeah. It's, it's, well, it's just because they can't do it. Right. So it's like, oh, she just does drugs. That's right. why she has that. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, guess what? You also still have to work out. You didn't do drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't just take drugs. I'm like, well, you know, yeah, um, they must not be working because I'm still injured and yeah, <laughs> things yeah. aren't necessarily yeah. recovering that fast. <laughs> or, yeah, it should have yeah. more growth. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's where I messed up. Oh, but oh, we're, wow. at a, we're at an hour 15. We got to go. Oh, shit. Holy crap. I no. know. Best friends just talk along. I know, nice. I know. It's so well, fun. I hope that we can actually see you in person soon. I know. Yeah. I want to. I well, want to see you in person. Yeah, you guys gotta come to Montana. It's safer here. Literally, uh, like we're starting to open up like next week, like our stores and stuff. So like our restaurants and stuff shut down, and like all the little shops. But nothing's really changed except for that. Um, but my hairdresser is opening back up on Monday. Oh, you like, oh you need so God. lucky. I'm about ready to I shave know. my we head. We have been, we are a mess. <laughs> a mess. Trying to color each other's okay. hair. Yeah. Brooke's going to have to try to fix my extensions. Yeah, I, mean, I got to redo her extensions. I did do her gray. Yeah. I did a great job. She did. I colored I tried her. I to do a great yeah, job on hers, but it didn't come out the same. We colored yeah, mine, which I, is also I, why I've like, not, I'm trying not to wash my hair so much because- it yeah. washes out every single time. <clears throat> and I'm like, I honestly, I'm I like, what like am I? Three hours on her hair and it still didn't soak up the color. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? Let's just end it. <laughs> Let's just get rid of it. Let's just shave Take it. it all off. Let's just shave it. Britney Spears style. And like yeah. pray that so I could be, be like one of those. Miserable. Hot, pray that you, I could be one of those hot girls and they would, shave their head and it's like, oh my God. No, you, you would are be beautiful. beautiful. You wouldn't even leave the house. <laughs> like the most beautiful face like the perfect like everything i know and like be super feminine if i shave my head i would look like a little boy or something like, oh. i'm already like little muscle baby <laughs> take my just hair like, away from me <laughs> just shredded <laughs> oh my god <laughs> then you'd really have to get boobs yeah, you know if you didn't have long have hair to. all right well yeah, we love uh, you Thanks for taking yeah. the time so to Skype with us. I just want to just get out of California. Just drive to Montana. It's safe here. I have a gym. I'm into a it. A real gym. Mm-hmm. Been there. You it is so sick. You just have to your hands before you touch anything. <laughs> you got that California <laughs> shit all over it. <laughs> you have to disinfect us <laughs> when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> before we enter the you gym, like, take off all your clothes or going into the wash at us. <laughs> Quarantine you into one of the rooms and you're not allowed to leave for 14 days. <laughs> so we're moving there. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Basically. Uh, that'd be fun. All right. I well, I just want a wine well, night. Right. Yeah. Well, let's have yeah. a wine night on Skype yeah, soon. We'll yeah. And then we'll definitely have some drinks for your birthday over Skype. I would love that. Yeah. What day is that? The May 4th. 4th. May the 4th be with you. Oh, that's coming up. Yeah. I'm May 30th. Oh, um, the, yeah. Well, maybe from, May, maybe from May thirtieth, we can be together around that time. Hopefully, yeah. I, I don't. Yeah. It's not looking good for us. Over I hope here. So. If not, let's be somewhere we'll warm see. by a pool. Yeah, or the or a yeah. beautiful ocean. Although yeah. Gina hates yeah. sand. I hate sand. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't go there. Then. I'm really good at the pool, though. Yeah, you can lay by pool. Yeah. You can lay my pole. Um, all right. All right. Well, we're going to. You're the best. We're going to say bye bye to you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye, Maria. All right, guys. Right, guys. That was a long one. No, another long one. But she's wonderful. If you have never, you know, if you don't know a lot about Dana, well, now you know her whole life story for the most part. Well, not life story, but yeah. in, in her, her, her journey, her fitness career. Mm-hmm. Um, check her out. Her Instagram, Dana Lynn Bailey. They have a YouTube channel. Um, her and her husband, Rob, they have created some awesome businesses. They do Flagner Fell, they, um, launching tons of great men and uh, men and women athletic wear. Um, they had a supplement supplement line. Supplement line. 
Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, thank you for listening thank to you another guys. episode of Between the Reps with Brooke and Gina. Don't forget to rate, rate review, subscribe, five-star five star rating, five-star star warning, warning, and we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye.